There is an S1, Q3, T3 pattern present in the standard limb leads, raising the possibility of right ventricular strain. Could pulmonary embolism be the cause of this young woman's collapse? Probably not. This pattern may well be artifactual. We note that the P wave in lead 3 is inverted and that the readout in lead 2 appears to be of very low amplitude. This, in combination with the other findings, raises the possibility of electrode misplacement. The only way of being sure is to repeat the ECG, paying careful attention to correct electrode placement. When we do this, in this case, we find that the abnormalities present in the standard limb leads on the index ECG are no longer present. This is a pseudo S1 Q3 T3 pattern probably due to left arm, left leg electrode reversal. We also note the significant prolongation of the QT interval reported on the computer interpretation. Serum electrolytes requested urgently at presentation are phoned through to the ER from the lab and the suspected cause of this ECG abnormality is confirmed. The patient has severe hypokalemia. On the ECG, this electrolyte abnormality has resulted in widespread T-wave inversion. Also, these positive deflections, prominent in the chest leads, are U-waves. As shown here, U-waves are often identifiable on the ECG readouts of normal subjects. But, as illustrated in our case, U-waves may become more prominent in the presence of significant hypokalemia and can fuse with the preceding T wave. This fusion complex is misinterpreted by the computer analysis as a single long biphasic T wave. The CI then reports an incorrect prolonged QT interval. This is pseudo QT prolongation, an ECG manifestation of hypokalemia. Incidentally, the prominence of the P waves obvious on this readout is also reported to be an ECG manifestation of hypokalemia. We hope that you found this case discussion helpful. If you like our videos and content, please check out our online learning platform, akadoodle.com. At akadoodle.com, we develop rich animated video courses which explain complex medical concepts. If you need credits, we are ACCME accredited and our pro subscription offers AMA PRA category one credits. Sign up today.